Next on the programme today, the family of a woman from Brighton who went missing 12 years ago say they're facing years of delay for a court to declare her dead. Nellie Harriet was 96. She was last seen in Brighton in 2012. Her family presume that she's now dead, but they're still waiting for the courts to give them closure that they need. Fiona Irving has this report. Twelve years on from the last sighting of Nellie Harriet in Brighton, her family is still waiting for a court to declare her death. George Holland is Nellie Harriet's great-nephew. We're in limbo and, and, and she is in limbo, effectively. And, and we are very upset that... Uh, we played by the rules, we followed the procedure and, and we've been let down so badly and, and kept waiting this long for something to be done. Nellie had dementia and would be 108 if she was alive today. Four years ago, her family applied to the High Court for a declaration of her presumed death. A hearing into the case was adjourned in March 2020. Since then, they've heard nothing back. Now the court say... They've no record of the application. We're no further ahead than we were when we put the application in over four years ago. And the prospect of having to go through all that all over again is, is um, very, very annoying. Sussex police say there was an intensive investigation at the time of her disappearance. She didn't have much money and didn't own her own home. Her family are waiting for the declaration of death order so they can hold a memorial for the woman they knew as Auntie Nell. Leslie Hogg is Nellie's niece. Well, she was only four foot ten and made up for lack of stature by being very forceful. She was a fearless and she made us laugh and she was always there for us. Nellie's family now just wants some closure. Fiona Irving, BBC Radio Sussex. We can now speak to George Holland, who you heard in Fiona's report there, who's Nellie Harriet's great nephew. Hello, George. Good morning. Good morning. Well, me, and I'm sure a lot of people listening now, will remember the search for Nellie 12 years ago. Just to remind us about that time, what was that, that was like for your family? I remember the uh, morning I, I, I got up for work, put on uh, BBC Breakfast on the TV and my absolute astonishment at seeing a photograph of my aunt displayed on the South East Today bulletin and uh, learning that she had been reported missing. And uh, it, it was a shocking experience and a very emotional one. And I, I had to go to, to work. I'm, I'm a school teacher. I, I had to go to work and sort of try and keep keep going with the knowledge that uh, she she was uh, had uh, she had disappeared and there was a big search for her if i remember rightly yes i i recall i believe uh within about a fortnight of her being reported missing the sussex police conducted a search of um every property in the Whitehawk area of Brighton, which is where she was last recorded getting off a bus on CCTV. Uh, they had to um, go to some trouble in certain cases where properties were vacant uh, to, to speak to every single uh, resident in that area to, to try to uh, ascertain where she went next. And sadly, uh, the investigation drew a, a blank. So, George, can I ask, I mean, do you and the rest of your family consider now what the potential reality is that, that Nellie has died? Well, the police said uh, publicly uh, soon after her disappearance that the chances of her being found alive were extremely slim. And that was 12 years ago because she was 96 at the time she was becoming increasingly frail and and uh, we were aware of her um, uh, dementia uh, situation. So we gave up hope of her being found alive an awful long time ago. Uh, the, the sadness for us is we don't know what has happened to her. 
uh, it's quite distressing to think she may have suffered some uh, terrible accident. And uh, we are uh, at the, the mercy of the High Court who have been sitting on the application for presumption of death for over four years. Now, that's what I want to come to next, because that sounds extraordinary. I mean, we heard there in Fiona's report that um, that the hearing was in March 2020, and we all know what happened in that month. So COVID would have interrupted pr- perhaps proceedings. But then to have no record of that application seems like a massive error. It's, it's appalling. Um it was a BBC researcher um, who uh, contacted them for a comment, only to be told there was no record of the hearing. Uh, I, I, I'm furious. Uh, I had to go to some trouble and expense to travel up to London for this hearing. And the judge uh, said there there needs to be more time for a response to an advert which has had to be placed in the missing person's local newspaper. This is part of the, the application. Uh, we, we placed the, the advert word for word, what uh, the guidance uh, says you have to say. Um, this was placed in the evening Argus in Brighton. And we we have not been informed that there's been any response to that since. Uh, But the judge also said to me she required uh, a written statement from me explaining the narrative, how A led to B led to C. So I went away and wrote the statement. I I sent it by recorded post. I sent an electronic copy by email, none of which was acknowledged. And uh, over the last four years, I've... Uh, tried ringing and emailing the offices of the High Court in London and quite frankly just been fobbed off every time. What, but, what's what's uh, it going to take to, to kickstart this process again so that you and your family can finally move forward and, you know, mark Nelly's life properly? I, I am hoping somebody can make a suggestion because we, we feel like we're banging our heads against a brick wall here. It, I, who, who do you complain to when the court system has failed you? This this is the mystery for us. We, you, you would hope, wouldn't you, that the courts of all the institutions in the land would be reliable and competent and, and handle uh, such applications uh, efficiently. I appreciate that COVID was uh, an interruption, uh, but uh, this, but that, this that's is it. Now- it was an interruption. It wasn't a finality, was it? Um, George, <laughs> thank you. If we can help in some way, um, then we will. But um, we'll stay in touch. Thank you for now. Thank you. Good to speak to you. George Holland there, Nellie Harriet's great nephew with us on BBC Radio Sussex, seven minutes to eight.